Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Robotic Motor Services. Today we are going to be replacing a front loop sensor in a 450XH automower. This is the package currently that the loop sensors come in and this up here is your front loop sensor. Now this circuit board right here, this front loop sensor, is the same one that is used in your 300 series, 400 series, and 500 series non-all-wheel drive mowers. That means the 310, 315, 315X, the 430X, 430XH, 450X, 450XH, 520, 520H, 550, and 550H automowers all use this exact same loop sensor. So, it's a fairly common part. If you need to order one, we have them available. www.roboticmowerservices.com Just want to throw that out there. So what this board does, obviously, it's a loop sensor. So it picks up the signal coming from your boundary loop wire and your guide loop wires. Now this is going to be the board, because it's in the front of the mower, this is going to be the board that when the mower enters into a, a uh, narrow corridor, it's going to sense that those wires are coming together, and it's going to tell the mower, hey, we got to get skinny, we're going into a tight area, and then there's a loop sensor in the main board on the back of the mower. So when the front one says, hey, get skinny, and it goes through that corridor, the back loop sensor is going to pick up that it's getting, the wires are getting further apart and saying, all right, we're in the clear now. So it plays an important part in going through corridors. It plays an important part in finding the boundary wire and the guide wire because obviously it's in the nose of the mower. Now, <clears throat> one common problem that we see with loop sensors or one one common way i should say to to diagnose a loop sensor is if your mower has been mowing in the same area for you know let's say a year or two no issues then all of a sudden it gets to one point where it's like it's just giving you a no loop error and it's within 10 feet of a boundary wire then there's a good chance it's going to be your loop sensor that's the issue now if it gets out to the middle of a wide open area and then it says, no loop signal. You don't want to just go tearing your mower open and throwing a loop, no loop sensor, or um, sorry, new loop sensor in there. Because it could be a problem with the quality of the, the signal coming from the wires. It could not be, it might not be strong enough for the uh, loop sensor to pick it up. So in a case like that, you want to check the values that you're getting, that you're able to read from this loop sensor before you just go ripping everything open and replacing the loop sensor. Because... Well, you know, money's money, you know, and uh, electrical components, you can't really return them, and you don't want to just go throwing money at it when uh, it's not going to solve the problem. So um, in a case like that, just do a little bit of homework, and you'll be able to determine whether it is your, your boundary wire system or the loop sensor. But in the first scenario I gave you, if it's, you know, if it's within 20 feet of a uh, boundary wire and you're getting a no loop signal, you can almost guarantee that's what it's going to be is this loop sensor right here. So to replace the loop sensor, as I said, on all the mowers uh, that I mentioned before, this is the same circuit board used in all of them. In the high cuts, you use one screw and one little clamp to hold it down. Uh, in the other ones, uh, a lot of the other ones, you use two of these screws and two little black clips to hold it in, in place there. But in all of those mowers... That board will only fit one way. Pull this one out here. You got a ribbon cable in there. That's it. That's all you're disconnecting. That's it right there. Um, as I said, this will fit down in there one way. Because of the components that are on the board, it's not going to allow it to be put in upside down or backwards or anything like that. You can see this was the way I pulled it out of there. And if I try to put it in this way, just no possible way it's going to fit down in there. If I try to force that in there, it's just going to break some of the stuff off of the, the front of the board. Um, you know, you, you can't put it the other way either, just because of the, the stuff on the board. And, you know, as I just mentioned earlier, it was it's the same way in all the other models of mowers, because if you put it in there the wrong way, it wouldn't be able to sense the uh, the values of the, the signal from the, uh, the boundary wires and the guide wires. So it'll only work one way, and that's why it will only fit into your mower one way. So this is a pretty common procedure here. Like I said, there's those scenarios that I mentioned, and it's something that if your mower is out of warranty, now you see how complicated this is to do. Um, 
you know if you know what you're doing and you can get to this point here where you can split split the chassis open on your automower then uh, it's going to be pretty straightforward for you to replace that loop sensor if you're looking to purchase a loop sensor or any other parts for your automower or any accessories for your automower go to www.roboticmowerservices.com if you don't see the part or accessory listed on our website that you're looking for just send us an email at roboticmowerservices at gmail.com let us know what model mower you have and a serial number and what part it is you're looking for and we'll get you hooked up we even have a link right there on the website that if you don't see the part there and you're looking for a part just click that tab and it'll automatically open up the email thing for you and uh, get you started on getting your request sent for whatever parts it is that you need so that's going to do it for this video here again make sure to check out that website www.roboticmowerservices.com make sure to give this channel robotic Motor services a like and a follow uh, hit the little subscribe button down there you can also find us on facebook under robotic mower services and um, keep checking back because we're always putting out new material thanks for watching